name is Michael Stansbury. I'm the owner of Easy Street Billiards in downtown Monterey. I opened January 1st, 99. And we've been open every day since then. My senior year in high school, my family moved from Oklahoma to Houston, Texas. And I didn't really know very many people. A new acquaintance invited me to come play some pool with he and another fellow. And I said, sure, that sounds like fun. And they beat me out of all my money, which only amounted, I'm sure, to about $3. So for that senior year in high school, I played pool hours every day after school until I had to go home for dinner and all day every weekend. And I got much better. I got better than either of the friends. And I had just closed a business in Carmel that I'd had for a number of years. And an acquaintance phoned me and said, I want to open a pool hall in Monterey. And I hear you used to play pool. And I said, yeah, I did. And so he needed a manager. He hired me. I was the manager of Bowtie Billiards when this place opened. After a couple of years, the owner and I had a falling out and I left. And, oh, maybe a year later he went bankrupt. I saw an opportunity, so I went to the bank that had backed the SBA loan and said I'd like to buy everything that's left. And I got to make it into what I wanted it to be. And that was a tremendous amount of fun. Um, for instance, the showcase there. I designed that to match the antique bar that's to the right. If you look at the molding at the top and the doors that are in the front, it has to be designed in order to showcase pool cues and pool e equipment, but I wanted it to have that old look. And it's solid mahogany and very elegantly done. I wanted a really cool jukebox, not the modern crummy jukebox. And so I bought a very expensive nostalgia jukebox with the bubbles going up and all that. And that's really cool. I took all the video games out of here. There were a bunch of them. I remodeled the whole place and sort of step by step got it to where I, it was the way I wanted it to be. And that's the most fun part, I think, of opening a business. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought I really did this wrong. I mean, I'm very happy here, but if I had three more tables in here, I could make more money. And if we just sloshed beer out in pitchers to people, uh, and I could make more money, and video games would make more money. It's just, I don't want to own that kind of place. Business is down. 2008 started out good and the last two months have been pretty seriously cramped. It seems to be on everybody's mind and everybody's a little scared. My job could go away. This isn't the time to spend a lot of money. So everybody's being cautious. That's, I don't know the pool's going to last a long time. Something will need to change, I think. If you're going to make it into a sport that has any real possibility of generating money for the players. But it's just hard to get sponsors for pool tournaments, people to put up big money. It's hard to televise it in a way that people find interesting. It has held on because there is something about the feeling of the cloth and the weight of the ball and the stroke of the cue and there's something mesmerizing about it and that's the reason that even in a video game age people are still playing pool